But of course, tell me where you at. Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Okay, so Fortnite may seem like a, you know, nonsensical battle royale to some, but it has a fully crafted story which can be told through missions and live events. So today, we're gonna be examining one of Fortnite's most long-standing antagonists. All right, the IO. Okay, so who are they? Like, where do they come from? And how do they go from being one of the most formidable organizations on the island to a lone soldier without a cause or an army? All right, we gotta find out, guys. But before we do, it's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite characters. What is it, y'all? Come on. It's that bunch of crunch. Huh. Yo, let's get this going. So, who exactly were these mysterious figures hiding beneath the island? Well, the Imagine Order, or the IO for short, were a group of people who managed to secure the Zero Point millions of years ago. This Zero Point is a massive source of energy that connects to every single reality in existence with the power to send people to and from other locations. So to protect itself, the Zero Point disguises itself as an island and sets off a storm that continuously closes in. This island and everything we do in Battle Royale takes place within the loop, which is a temporal circle which becomes becomes inescapable unless you secure your place as the last person standing within the circle. In the beginning, way before the events of Chapter 1 Season 1, the IO managed to take control of the loop after sending an agent to scout the area. So who was this agent? None other than your favorite character, Jonesy, or Agent Jones, as he's known within the ranks of the IO. Sending him in his first resulted in many discoveries on the properties of the loop. As they continued to study the zero point, the IO discovered that anyone that entered the loop ended up muted as their memories began to fade. Not only that, but any attempts to escape the loop resulted in a snapshot of the person trying to escape. One of the first snapshots on the island is Jonesy the First, which was left behind after the IO's initial investigation of the loop. Soon, the IO controlled everything as they helped reset the storm every 22 minutes, kidnapped new participants from other realities, as well as kept everything from weapons and chests fully refreshed during each reset. Thus, thanks to the IO, we are able to enjoy Battle Royale as we fight to escape the loop. Let me ask you this, guys. You guys need some help becoming the last person standing. Well, we got your back. Click on the link below and visit ProGuys.com. And there, you're going to learn everything that you need to know about perfecting your drop spot, rotating strategically around the island, and fighting off your opponents effectively. Get help from our pro-level coaches and go from being a noob to an absolute beast. All right, so where do we begin our character examination? Well, I guess we should definitely go all the way back to their first true appearance on the island. Let's go back to chapter two, season two, all right? When Midas activated his doomsday machine, it was an attempt to fight back the storm and free himself from the loop. However, doing so resulted in the island fighting back and caused a flood. So during this live event, we were transported to a mysterious office and within it, we got our first glimpse at Agent Jones, who was surprised that we were able to understand him. He quickly contacts those in charge of the loop and requests that the island be reset. This was our first time physically seeing this organization and its agents within the game, and it was only just a precursor for what came next. Eventually, Galactus attempted to consume the Zero Point during the Season 4 live event, and while we did manage to just bomb him back into his own reality, we had one huge problem, sticking out like a sore thumb, all right? The Zero Point was now exposed and looming over the island. This caused the IO to go into a basic panic, and uh, their control of the island, and Zero Point was just put at risk. They sent out Jones and other agents out to control the situation. During the season of Bounty Hunters, the IO began rising up to the surface through their secret elevators all over the island. They came in groups of three and they were hostile to players who entered their vicinity. Their job was to make sure that none of the loopers were able to escape the island during this time of chaos. In addition to IO's forces on the ground, Jonesy was sent on a mission to gather the universe's greatest hunters, including Mancake, Reese, and the Mandalorian to help prevent this from happening. Eventually, Jones became disillusioned with the IO due to their ineffectiveness to act against an unstoppable zero point. Seeing as their priorities were different, Jonesy reached out to the Seven, allowing the Foundation to find the island and temporarily stabilize the situation. In exchange, Jonesy promised the Foundation that he would take him to Gino. Gino, who is the leader of the IO and someone who has been able to harness the full powers of the Zero Point. So after Jonesy defected from the IO and sought the help of the Seven, there was a state of unrest within the ranks of the IO. Suddenly, guys, like IO agents began to suspect one another of being in league with Jones. Who were these imposters? Well, it was your job to find out when imposters mode was released. Here, not only did we get a fun mini game to grind XP on, but also a glimpse into the inner workings of the IO. Remember when we mentioned earlier that the IO were responsible for the games of the battle rail we play on? Well, as you explore the underground base, trying to weed out imposters or cause a bit of mischief yourself, you get to see many iconic sites. Like for starters, we have the battle bus being worked on before it gets deployed to drop off the loopers. Then we also get a glimpse at the chest we see all over the island being filled and sorted. The two most important spots here though are the main zero point room as well as the loop control station that controls when the island is reset. 
During season seven, we were formally introduced to one of the IO's top agents known as Dr. Sloan. She was the voice that was talking to Jonesy at the start of season five, warning him not to attract the attention of the seven. When the aliens invaded the island, we teamed up with her under the impression that she was just on our side. After all, I mean, we had a common enemy. Soon, IO bases began to sprout all over the island as the war against the aliens raged on. As always, the IO were still hostile towards us. However, we were able to pick up some of the IO's own weaponry and technology to help us out. During the season, the IO guards would just scatter around the island and just head towards locations being abducted. Eventually though, Sloan revealed her true colors during the Operation Skyfire event as she left us for dead on the mothership. During season eight, the IO guards would make a return to the remaining IO bases and would sometimes also spawn in during the final phase of an anomaly encounter. Eventually, however, with the help of the Foundation and Jonesy, the entire island was flipped, putting an end to the cube queen and turning the IO's operation upside down. With this, the IO were no longer in control of the loop. During the events of Chapter 3 Season 1, control of the island was taken over by the Seven. This did not make the IO happy though. So during Chapter 3 Season 1, we got to see a whole new side of the island. Like not only were the Seven in control of the part of the island, but IO guards and bases were replaced with Seven henchmen as well as Seven outposts. However, the IO was not out of the picture quite just yet though. As the season progressed, the IO would just tunnel up from their side of the island and just make their way to the surface. They prepared for war and attempt to regain control of the zero point in the loop. Eventually during Season 2, the war finally broke out as the IO brought forth its greatest soldiers to fight for them. So while they controlled most of the island at first, the Seven were able to reclaim most of the territory save for two spots, Command Cavern and the Collider. The Collider was the IO's last ditch effort at victory if they couldn't control the Zero Point. They destroyed bringing an end to reality as we know it. Luckily for us, the Seven managed to rebuild the mech from Chapter 1 and it took the fight to the IO. With Sloan defeated and the Collider deactivated, the island celebrated their victory with good vibes and fun times. So now that we're all caught up, where exactly are the IO now? Well, things are pretty cool on the island as we celebrate the victory against the Imagine Order, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're out of the picture just yet. Like, we still haven't seen Gino in person yet. It seems like the mystery behind the IO is still out there, and perhaps we will see it in the future. In the meantime, there are still some remnants to the once powerful organization on the island this season. So, if you guys go to the remains of the outpost Omega, you're gonna find the Seven have completely destroyed it, leaving only charred remains behind. So, this small POI is now known as Outcast Outpost, and it is home to the last IO guard on the island, and so interestingly enough, they are now considered a neutral guard as the IO has been driven off the island once and for all, for now. <laughs> Before we finish up today, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com for some pro-level coaching that can help you guys elevate your game. But of course, that's gonna be it for today's video. Once again, this is your motivation guide, the one who believes in you, the one that's rooting for you to be the best you can be, not only in this game, but come on now, also in life. Also, feel free to leave a comment. Let us know what you guys would be most interested in learning more about. Hey, we love to hear from you. Remember, the story of Fortnite is vibing, and it's just starting to ramp up. All right, so what twists and turns will wait for us in the future? I guess we'll find out. Hey, connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.